Hello guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, so in today's video, I'm gonna bring you the ultimate NVIDIA optimization. In the video, we're gonna go through each and every settings inside the NVIDIA control panel to get the best FPS possible, best visuals, the lowest latency possible, lowest input lag, and utilize the graphic card and all the resources properly to gain the best FPS possible. So before heading towards the control panel make sure that you have the latest graphic drivers installed uh, so we'll head towards the google and search nvidia drivers or i'll just provide you the link in the description so you will just uh, go to the nvidia website and here select your device i'm currently using a geforce rtx 2060 so if you are on laptop so you will select the notebooks thing uh, but i'm not on the laptop so i'll just select rtx here my graphic card windows 10 yeah that's it and just search it and just download it so just make sure that you are using the latest geforce game ready drivers uh i have updated you can just check for updates i am i'm already using the latest version so yeah so now we'll head towards our nvidia control panel uh so in the search bar you're gonna search for nvidia control panel uh so you'll get it here if you are not seeing this nvidia control panel here so nothing to worry just go to your microsoft store and just search nvidia control panel here so you'll get this nvidia control panel and just uh install it first of all we'll go towards the adjust image settings with preview uh so it will look somewhat like this uh so you just have to make it to performance like this and again just apply and that's it for the adjust image settings with preview now we'll go towards our manage 3d settings this is the most important settings out of all here we'll cover all the best settings for maximum fps and best visuals global setting for all games uh so yeah uh, so this global setting is for all the games and apps and the program setting is for the dedicated program uh, the first feature here is the image scaling and uh, the NIS is the huge for gaining more FPS and better visuals on most of the games it is one of the best settings in Nvidia drivers in past times it is similar to DLSS but it is at driver level so you will see a overlay indicator here just turn this on also so uh, basically, if you are uh, playing games on the resolution lower than your monitor's resolution, suppose you are using a 1080p monitor and you are playing your games on 720p or a different resolution, then this setting is a killer setting for you. It will surely increase your FPS and if the NIS logo is blue, that means it is ready to use. And if the NIS, NIS logo is green, that means NIS is activated. Only use NIS when is required. Uh, by that I means, uh, like if you are having a 1080p monitor and you are playing all your games on 1080p, and the image scaling or the NIS is on, so it's pretty useless. Uh, because in this, uh, so I'll suggest you guys to use this for all the machines but use it only when you are playing games on the lower resolution than your monitor's resolution it will surely um, yeah uh, so the next is ambient occlusion uh, turn this off for more fps and for better visuals turn this to performance uh, and the next is anisotropic filtering so turn off anisotropic filtering for best fps possible and uh, turn this to 8x or 16x for best visuals uh, the next is uh, anti-lasing fx aa uh, so this is basically applies a blur filter and it is not suggested 
to turn this on so we'll keep it off uh, next is anti-aliasing gamma correction uh, turn this on it will be on by default so let it be on uh, anti-aliasing mode uh, turn this off for best fps and for best visuals uh, set it to application control but turn this off for best fps uh, next will uh, to transparency transparency should be off background application max frame rate should be off for now uh, we'll later do that in uh, like specific game settings uh, specific program settings yeah uh, so the next is CUDA GPUs uh, so set it to all CUDA GPUs should be all uh, DSR factors DSR factor should be off so next is low latency mode uh, I would suggest you to off it here and uh, simultaneously uh, with the program turn this on if your game supports Nvidia reflex uh, games like Valorant and Apex Legend they supports uh, low latency mode uh, so if you're gonna turn this on here and if you're gonna turn that on to your game too so you'll get a good low latency performance uh, max frame rate should be off here also monitor technology if you are competitive player where frames matter the most turn this turn this to fixed refresh and if you want a if you want good visuals uh, and if you are a story mode gamer or plays a lot of story mode then you can uh, go to G-Sync. Uh, the next is uh, multi-frame sample AA, MFAA, uh, turn this off. Uh, so next is uh, OpenGL rendering GPU, uh, turn this, select your graphic card here. Yeah, perfect. Uh, so the next is uh, power management mode. I would suggest you to set it to prefer maximum performance as it will always deliver you the maximum performance for your graphic card. Uh, preferred refresh rate, turn this to highest available. Shader cache size. So, uh, if you are having a SSD or uh, uh, like if you have uh, space in your C drive, so turn this shader cache to 10 GB. Uh, see, I got space in my C drive. Yeah, so uh, just a say, yeah, I have a 105 GB, so I can turn uh, make it to 10 GB. So if you are more, if you have more space, you can go to 100 GB as well. Uh, but 10 gb is more than enough this is texture filtering and isotroping uh, so this should be turned on for good performance or uh, texture filtering negative lod bias this should be allowed texture filtering quality uh, so turn this to high performance to gain the maximum fps and for better visual you can go it to high quality uh, texture filtering prilinear optimization this should be on threaded optimization should be auto as it is triple buffering should be off vsync turn the vsync off uh, as vsync adds input latency and lower fps and is usually not recommended if you are a competitive player or play a lot of uh, first person games uh, so virtual reality pre does keep it same nothing nothing to change here so yeah we are kind of good here uh, so we'll go to program settings we're gonna change some of the program settings here uh, so first apply this first apply oh, off yeah. first apply this all We're good to go. Uh, so we'll go to the program settings. I'm customizing the program settings for the Valorant. Uh, so here only we're gonna select our OpenGL rendering GPU to you, to your graphic card and power management mode to prefer maximum performance. Texture filtering on. 
and texture filtering quality high performance and you can cap your fps also here uh i'll just show it to you guys i yeah, I already capped my FPS to my monitor's uh, refresh rate. I'm using a 144Hz, so I capped the FPS for to 149, uh, so which is more than enough. Yeah, uh, just apply all the settings, and if you want to revert back, so just you can just click on the restore defaults, so all your settings will be restored to defaults. So yeah. Uh, Next, we'll move to PhysiX. Uh, here, select your graphic card, uh, RTX 2060. So we just selected it. Uh, so in the change resolution, uh, first slide down to this PC settings and uh, choose the highest available resolution here. Uh, I am using a 1080p monitor, 144Hz and choose the highest refresh rate which is available here. Yeah, uh, if you have multiple monitors, so you will see one more monitor here. Do uh, the same with that monitor also. I'm currently, I'm just having a one single monitor. Uh, so yeah, apply this. Yes. So uh, we'll next go to adjust desktop color settings. Uh, this is completely uh, user base, like uh, completely depends on your monitor. I find uh, digital vibrance to 90 is uh, like good enough for me uh, you can actually like slide this so you can see it in the real time uh, your saturation of your monitor uh, set it to 85 to 90 or 80 also it will look good uh, the colors will be natural and uh, a bit vibrated yeah so next we'll go to the now next we'll go to uh, adjust desktop size and position so if you wanna play in stretched uh, resolutions like uh, if you are playing 4 is to 3 but if you are able to see that uh, black bars on your computer uh, so just turn this to full screen uh, so you will be playing in the stretched resolution uh, like games like counter-strike and valorant uh, so it will uh, so the black bars on the screen will be gone and it will be stretched your screen will be stretched so yeah uh, that's it for this video uh, if this video helped you out so please drop a like and if you're new on the channel uh, so hit that subscribe button yeah i'll see you bye bye